Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So my name is Muhammad Najib bin Talibin. I'm from Department of Mechanical Engineering, Polytechnic Bamprai, Pulau Pinang. So in Climax 2022, I would like to present about simulation of tool parts using 3D method strategies for complex shape in milling application. As for your information, machining is a manufacturing process in which a cutting tool is used to take away undesirable material from a piece to achieve the desired shape as we can see in, in these slides. Machining has advanced to its current level and new machining technologies and process are being developed. So with the advancement of computer-aided design, as we can simplify as CAD, and computer-aided manufacturing, as we can simplify as CAM, many users have adopted the approach. In, mach in machining, the combination of CAD and CAM allows for the generation of CNC code for design components. As we can see in this slide, so this is an example of NC code that generate from CAD CAM system. Many commercial computer-aided manufacturing CAM system now have high-speed machining options, allowing for proper machining procedures. So to achieve the minimum cutting time in production in accordance with product standards, the appropriate manufacturing condition must be carefully set for each operation. So cutting conditions such as cutting speed, depth of cut, and fit rate are generally considered. So basic of machining is quite very important before we proceed by using CAD CAM system. So in this slide, we can see that an example of CAD CAM software that we can get from, from the market. So we have a SOLIDWORK, we have a CATIA, we have PROE, we have a Zeman NX, we have a Autodesk Inventor and many other software that we can use. In problem statement, several strategies can be used for machining complex 3D shape on a 3 axis CNC vertical milling machine in Autodesk Inventor professional software. However, it is challenging to determine suitable strategies without guidance. So among the strategies involved are scallop, radial, spiral, and mob spiral. So the question is, which is the best strategy that we can Choose. So, in objective of the study is to compare the tool part strategy in term of machining time by using high speed machining parameters. So, this is an example of tool part movement that we generate from CAD CAM system. So, scope of our study is. We use Autodesk Inventor Professional 2022 for CAD CAM to use the finishing strategies listed. So it can, it can reduce our time, no need for us to convert uh, our CAD file to another extension file because we can use in the same software. So for example, among of the famous software in CAM is Master CAM. However, in 2022, Autodesk Inventor Professional can integrate CAD and CAM in the same software. So the study focuses on complex shape such as convex and concave. So in the next slide, I will explain further about convex and concave. So only tool part movement and machining time are compared for all strategy strategies listed. So this is a summary of our methodology in our study. So we start to produce a 3D shape of a part by using CAD system by application of 2D and 3D features. Then we proceed to the tool parts creation for roughing using CAM application features in Autodesk Inventor. So we use 3D milling adaptive. If uh, successful, we proceed to finishing process to generate tool parts uh, movement for finishing using CAM application features. So here we use scallop, radial, spiral, and mob spiral strategy. 
if uh, successful we proceed to the analyze tool part movement and machining time among of the strategies so one of the question is what is the complex shape so in this study a hemisphere shape and a fillet feature that located on top of square shape are considered as complex shape due to their convex so this is a convex shape and then this is a concave shape so the detail of uh, dimension of this shape is highlighted in this slide then we move further about our cutting tool this is among of the important information that we need to take note in CAD CAM system. All the specification for cutting tool are based on the actual cutting tools that are used in FANAC robot drill machine equipped with a BT30 upper. So normally in high speed machining, so we use BT30 upper. So we have a BT30 and we have a BT40. Okay. So cutting tool specifications such as tool length and cutting edge are also important to avoid collision during machining. So during simulation, we can see is it that we have a collision or not. So this is uh, the detail of our flat end mill. So we use uh, flat end mill with diameter 10. And then the most important thing is body length. Then for ball and mill, so we use diameter 6 mm and the body length is 22.5 mm. Now I would like to present about the detail of roughing process. So in roughing process, we need to set operation types, for example, milling. Then we need to determine work coordinate system or sometimes we can say as a datum and in this study we choose center as our datum and then this uh, this is a detail of our stop with the width 80 mm depth 80 mm and height is 41 mm then for the detailed process of adaptive uh, strategy so we need to choose flat and male with diameter 10 mm and fruit length 25 mm and one of the most important thing is we need to key in the machining parameters that we refer to the high speed machining parameters from another papers okay so here we use step over 50 percent then after we complete setup uh, information in roughing process we try to proceed for the general tool path if successful so we can move to the finishing process then in the finishing process we use the same setup as what we have done in roughing process but the most important thing here is we need to cho to to choose uh, ball and mill with diameter 6 mm then we need to put the machining parameters and then here the most important thing is plunge rate and step over is 0 0.25 for all the strategies that we use here and then after we complete the information we proceed for the general tool path if we can generate the tool path without any problems then we can proceed for the analysis of machining time this is a uh, after we proceed for the roughing process using 3d milling adaptive strategy we can see that we have a color tool parts movement color in our simulation so rapid reverse is a yellow color and then we have a retract of cutting tool red color so we have a cutting movement g01 g02 and g03 so it is a blue color so if we look here we have a more blue color compared than the other colors why because this is a cutting movement of our tool parts then we proceed for each process this is a 
a scale up strategy simulation so we can see that the blue color is constants okay in scale up strategy we can see it is a simple movement and can produce good product shape okay we can see the consist consistent of their tool part movement and very nice here yeah, in scale up strategy. then this is a finishing process in radial strategy so we can see that the movement look like the radial pattern then the radial strategy has a simple strategy compared to other strategy okay and then it's able to machining radial parts on we have because we have a concave we have a convex then we have a sp spiral strategy here we can see that in spiral strategy we have too many yellow color so it's mean that in this strategy so many rapid transverse are used okay so what happened it will increase our machining time then lastly we have mob spiral strategy simulation then in this uh, simulation we can see that the tool part movement at the bottom here uh, quite consistent okay and uh, their cutting movement also can produce a good shape so later we can see the video simulation of radial strategy All of the information can be extract, can be simplified in a table. So based on this table, I summarize it by using time machining and then volume remove and we have a cutting line. So based on this information, I can say that radial strategies is shortest machining time and the lowest cutting length by more than 50% compared to other strategies. So this is due to the fact that this technique generate passes along the arcs ready, which are subsequently projected down on the surface. So the passes can be linked in a zigzag pattern between the outer and inner radius, either from inside to outside or outside to inside. However, uh, this is uh, very important. So collision between the cutting tool and the workpiece must be closely monitored if we want to use this strategy so as a conclusion a study of cnc machining operation and tool parts in a cam system is a realistic technique to achieve the goal faster safe cost and improve machining efficiency so high speed machining with the appropriate machining strategy is critical for increased productivity because we can reduce time then in future i hope that surface roughness and pattern also need to be involved to have a perfect finding before we choose the best strategy uh, in our simulation i think that's all for now thank you very much for your attention see you again bye